that's another brilliant three points and against another top side as well. So six out of six, and what a way to start the new year. Yes, it's a great. I said to the lads before, new year, new start, and uh, couldn't have been prouder. I had two very tough games with Stavely and Hemsworth, and. Uh, to be fair, I've said before the before the new year, we've been very lucky because when we've played the top sides, we've always come out the other end of the table where we've, we've played really well and not got what we deserved. I think today we're a little bit more scrappy. I think we've, we deserve to be ahead in the first half. First 35 minutes, we were, we were completely dominant. Um, they scored. I'm just very disappointed with the way we've considered that first goal. Um, but then they've, you know, they scored a goal that out of nothing, to be fair, to make it one all at half time and then uh, second half I think it was a very scrappy game but I think we edged it because that was what we needed at times it's not going to be pretty but as long as we get the three points at the end of it now we're, it's what we need because this is when the uh, business end of the table needs to we need to start getting points now and it's, it's nothing new really that we've matched you know some of the top sides in the division you know first half of the season when we played the likes of Hemsworth Stavely got nothing out of it despite you know being just as good but then you know after the turn of the year beating Stavely and then beating Hemsworth and you know, the space of just two games, you know, what, what, what was the difference there? Yeah, I think we've made uh, positive signings, it's helped, you know, Matty, Morgan, Cam and Gav, I think they've made positive impacts where we've needed them the most, that little bit of quality of the side. You look at it today and um, everything, you know, Doug's not in the side because of a train on Thursday, so everyone was thinking the worst and, you know, we've got that little bit of quality now to just get us over the line, which I don't think we had maybe the start of the season, we did rely solely on one person to get the goals we need. I think now it shows that we've got people in and around the club that can, can step up when they need to. So the strength and depth is, is definitely a mega factor. And um, you know, like I say, people are working harder. We worked harder than them today and it, it showed, you know, it's it's what we needed and three points is what they thoroughly deserve. And like you said, you know, first half of the season, relying on one man named Lee Duggan to, to get the goals. And when he wasn't here today due to injury, you still managed to come up with two crucial goals and Grant Ryan also coming off the bench to not home the winner, so that, that must be really pleasing. Yeah, I'm, I'm so pleased for Grant because he's, he's come in and done a lot of hard work and not scored for the club, believe it or not, so I'm thoroughly delighted that he scored the goal. I say we're darker, he's not scored yet for us, so it's good for other two people to score goals. I think we deserve more goals out of the game, but at the end of the day, I don't really care because we've, we've done what we needed to do and get the three points, and the lads that deserve goals have actually scored today, so I couldn't have been proud of them. And you know you're closing that gap now between between yourselves and you know, mid table, whereas before there was quite a large gap. You know only about five or six points now. So you know there, there must be some real motivation in that to to crack on. And you know the next Lee fixture against Yorkshire Amateur to go and get another good result. Yeah, well Yorkshire Amateur, I think they lost today, so I think they're going to be uh, tromping at the bit to get back into it. So it's not going to be an easy game. None of them are in this division. You know one to twenty, they're all tough tough games, but. You know, we'll bring the game to them. They, you know, we've got to go and play an away game to them, which would be nice for us to go and uh, go and play away because we haven't in a while. So, I think it, the lads have got every belief now to go and beat anybody in that division. Um, and teams are now looking at us, going, "I don't want to play them because they're the, the physical, they score goals at the right times." And you know, I just want us to carry that that momentum on now till the end of the season. And you know, you don't know where we're going to finish, but top half is now where we're we're looking to go. And looking on to Tuesday night, it's away from league football onto the Not Senior Cup, and it's a different sort of game really against what's expected to be a young Not County side. So you're looking to adjust your game perhaps to to that kind of fixture. Yeah, well they're going to want to play. Um, I don't know how much they can play, but they want to play the youngsters, and there'll be a few first teamers down. So anyone that wants to come down, it'd be a great occasion to come and watch um, a professional club coming down and play us. But you know, we're going to give it all. We want to go and win the game. So uh, any game that we play, any cup competition, we want to go and win it. Uh, we have, we've had a lot of join cups recently, so why not carry that on and have a good atmosphere down um, and give them a good game. Um, so you were finally able to put your new signing, Morgan James, to the test and he, he made a really good impact out there today. Didn't yeah, he? Uh, Matt Sharpness, well, we've got to get him back into that 90 minutes fit, fresh, but he you know, made a good impact. He you know, does the naughty side of the game, he steps in and really demands the ball and wants to get on the ball, which I think we're just missing in that area, just someone that actually wants to get it and break lines and drive forward and link the midfield to the striker. I think we are, we've got some great players in there, but I think it gives a different dimension to our play. And also, it, play, players don't want to go and go and tackle him because he, he draws so many fouls in because he's just so nifty in, in his feet. So gives us another dimension, it's a great player, and I'm so delighted that we've managed to secure, secure him at the club for the end of the season.